A wise man once said, man will believe anything as long as it's not in the Bible. Unfortunately, that is so true. Can you give me any example of a transitional form, going from one kind of an animal to another kind? Uh, transitional form between one and another? Well, the thing is, it already is an animal, whatever it is. You mean like saying one that's halfway between this and this animal? Uh, can't think of anything right off the moment. Yet again, we see the dishonest tactic of Comfort and Cameron employed by asking random people their opinions on the subject or, or their thoughts or their knowledge on the subject. And when they can't answer, the implication is that science has no answer. I would love to see Cameron and Comfort run into me on my campus and ask me about these things. Of course, we all know that that would never be in their little documentary. But once again, this is just another example of the utter dishonesty that is behind their entire movement. Again, the the... the the point that they're trying to make is, hey, this random guy can't answer, therefore science has no answer. That is not the case whatsoever. There are thousands of transitional forms. And as a perfect example of this, I have a playlist in my channel that was featured on Panda's Thumb, among other places, that has uh, over 30 minutes worth of them. So please, go check that out if you doubt the existence of transitional forms. The parrot that's on your arm, God created. How could, any, how could science make a parrot? Science, nature made it. Nature made itself. Yes, absolutely. So they made the parrot. Evolution. So evolution made it? Mm hmm So you don't believe God created things? Well, I don't know what you're referring to as God. Creator. To me, evolution, nature, is God. When it comes to evolution, what was the scientific fact that convinced you that it was right? Um, I would say how it all got started, like explaining how we have elements that were brought to Earth by, you know, like, let's say meteorites or whatever, that it all got started in the ocean and um, organisms grew and, you know, people evolved from there. Believe in the Bible? Uh, yes, I do. Do you believe in Adam and Eve? Yes, I do. <laughs> so, Was Adam used to be an ape? No. You crawl up out of slime? No. <laughs> so which way are you going to go? Did God create man in his image and tell him to bring forth after his own kind, or did he begin as some slime from a meteorite from outer space? Non-random changes that come about as a result of selection, okay? Who's doing the selecting? Selecting is being done by the ecosystem. And where it's did being this done come from? It's being done by predators. Where did it's it come being from? done by geological processes. Well, here, this is the big question. This is where atheists and theists both have a problem, okay? And I'm going to admit to it, okay? The problem we have is at the beginning. The problem we have is at the beginning. The problem we have is at the beginning. Here's a very interesting fact. 
In the last couple of dozen times that I've witnessed to someone, I can honestly say that the subject of evolution has not come up even once. Why? Because I didn't bring it up. I didn't have to. And it doesn't come up on its own because it's often a non-issue. When you learn how to speak to a person's conscience and circumnavigate the intellect, the subject of evolution seems to disappear. When you circumnavigate intellect, evolution seems to disappear. Think about what that is saying. Basically means that evolution is only present when you think. If you don't think, then you don't have to worry about evolution, it just goes away. Why? Because it requires thought. And because it's somewhat difficult. That's why many people actually don't really like it. Cameron and Comfort included. This statement, I've, and I showed it in the entirety so you can be sure that it's not out of context whatsoever, is extremely telling. Now this is real good news for people like me. It means I don't have to become an expert in the fossil record. And it also means I don't have to learn words like Rhino Rondothacosaurus. <laughs> Ironically, I just actually stumbled upon this clip. I hadn't I hadn't seen this in like a month or so, and I'd completely forgotten about it. And I, and I just saw it right after I recorded the last bit about um, with creationism, you don't have to learn anything, or you don't have to think, and that's why people like it, because it's just so easy. So, I mean, this is just prediction confirmed. I mean, it's perfect. Lastly, I'll leave you with Comfort's own words describing his tactic to reach people. Now, are we trying to be anti-intellectual or avoid talking about the subject of evolution? Of course not. That's why we have the Evidence Bible. And this is packed full of teaching on the subject and includes quotes from teachings from Charles Darwin, Stephen Jay Gould, and William Huxley. And it will show you that the theory of evolution is unscientific, that it's based on blind faith, so that you don't need to panic and upset yourself every time you read in the newspaper or see something on the news that talks about man evolving from apes. You can have confidence in God's word that we are made in God's image. And true science, even our common sense, supports the Bible and not the theory of evolution. Let's look at the church and ask, what is the purpose of the church on earth?